All right, folks, this is the Generac 7000 EXL. I got this unit just before Isabel hit Virginia Beach back in 2003. I left it outside. I neglected it. I didn't treat it right. But it's a beast. Went to start it. After draining the gas, putting new gas in, choked it. It ran for 12 seconds and then it shut down. seconds and shut down. Well I wasn't very happy that it would run like a horse for 12 seconds and then shut down and I went online and tried to find some help just like you're doing. I couldn't find any. I looked in the uh, the owner's manual and the PDFs that were available online and nothing really indicated that this problem was caused by low oil pressure. The unit is equipped with an oil pressure indicator, a low oil indicator that I thought would uh, glow red LED, but it didn't. It just ran for 12 seconds and quit. Imagine my dismay. So I called the helpline on the Briggs and Stratton uh, customer service number left in the manual and a kind gentleman there suggested to me that if I could disable the low oil pressure sensor, it might run. I'd already checked the oil. I had plenty of oil. Uh, it was new oil. I had a new filter in it, which I had put in just uh, the last thing I did after Isabel left Virginia Beach. So I didn't think there was a problem with the oil pressure since it ran like a champ. So I looked for a disconnect. Following the circuit from here and out, I came to this three wire clip disabling the clip with the kind gentleman from Briggs and Stratton still on the line I set the engine to run set the choke and pulled it Now to prevent the engine from uh, becoming damaged due to neglect, this is a, a unit that is designed to run a long time and uh, an oil sensor cutoff would be uh, a very handy thing. It would be real handy if the LED on the chassis would light up, but that's obviously not the case. So now I'm going to replace it. But before I replace it, you may be asking yourself, I've seen the exploded diagram, I can't really figure out where the damn thing is. Let me show you, it isn't that hard. Right back here off the oil filter, it's this little guy right in here. You take the leads off and this guy just screws right out. I'm going to use a vice grip to get it out of there. This is the box that the replacement came in. There's the part number. That's a Briggs and Stratton part. It was obtained from industrial hardware on Bainbridge Boulevard in Chesapeake, Virginia. This is the original part. This is the replacement part. As you can see, the connectors are a little different, so I'm gonna take a drill and uh, open up that hole a little bit to accommodate the, uh, the bolt that I bought to make the connection. Clamp that little rascal to a uh, piece of old wood with a vice grip. 
hone it right out. All right, so it goes in right back here. We're going to bring it in hand tight. Then I'm going to give it just about a quarter snug with a vice grip. It actually ended up being more like a half turn with a vice grip, which is good because that gives me access to my newly created bolt hole. So all my new stuff is in there good and tight. I'm going to uh, give it one more little snug up here with the uh, vice grip. Then we'll restore our three connector clip. All right, it's time to see if uh, see if the repair worked. I haven't checked it. Setting it to run. Let's give her give her a shot. Now, one of the reasons that I'm enjoying this so much is because I have a few friends who know that I have no real mechanical ability. And uh, the fact that I was able to, to do this is absolute proof that you can do it. And remember, in case of emergency, just pull that, that clip apart and uh, that'll disable the low oil sensor. Just keep an eyeball on your oil levels every time you change your gas. Um, that's it for the incredible durable Generac 7000 EXL from Isabel to Irene and she's coming off clean I'm ready for the next storm other steps to the refurbishing of my beautiful Generac 7000 EXL was a new battery I got it batteries plus in Virginia Beach $80 and a set of new pneumatic wheels Purchased from Northern Tool and Equipment. I put a $20 bill on the counter and picked up $10 in change. I don't know if they had them mismarked or what, but dandy set of wheels for $10. Bucks. She's dang near good as new. I want to thank the uh, Generac folks and the Briggs and Stratton people for making something that is able to withstand even my high level of negligence. Good luck with yours. Electric start is so bougie. 